Well, thousands of migrants have come to Denver searching for a better life. It's now been two months since the city started tracking the number of people coming into the state from the southern border. 90s board Darius Johnson is following this story and Darius due to the influx of people, some groups have changed their strategy to better serve them. Hey there, Jordan and Corey. Good morning. Since December 1st, the city of Denver has served nearly 4600 migrants. More than a thousand of them remain in shelters that aren't owned or operated by the city. Central Humanitario is just one outside organization that's assisting and lending a helping hand right now. They're often known for helping migrants understand their rights as immigrant workers and assist with job development. But now they're helping migrants identify themselves, their talents, and what they need to be able to transition smoothly into society. They're even working to set up a mentoring program so those they helped previously can help those who now hope to call Colorado their home. And that was very meaningful for me because I knew when they hear not just from me, from our staff, but from real community members and institutions to say, you're welcome in Denver and we're going to help you on whatever it is that we can do, um, that, that, that gives them hope and the understanding that they can do well and they can do more. Casa de Paz is another group that's assisting right now, just going above and beyond. You may often know them for assisting those who have recently been released from ICE detention facilities. Instead, now they're helping many people who are arriving right here in Denver, being able to continue moving forward. Yeah, a lot of organizations and even individuals just coming together for the migrants that have arrived in the last couple months. Yeah, when you think about the numbers, you know, the city easily talked about how they had to lean on outside organizations because due to the influx of people who started to come here, they just didn't have enough resources. So as soon as they put out that call, everyone started responding and you're able to see situations just like this. And we still have people regularly reaching out to us asking how they can mm -hmm. help and what resources are needed at this time. All right, Darius Johnson reporting. Darius, thank you.